Hey everybody, so in today's video, we're gonna talk a little bit about um, how to create a bridge braid to wear clip-on hair units if you are missing hair in the front. Or this even applies to if your hair is very, very thin in the front and you don't feel like you have the stability to attach a wig clip or hair unit to your hair. You can add simply add hair and go. And so this is the unit that we're gonna use today. It is a kinky curly unit that I created in a size seven by six, meaning it's seven inches from front to back and six inches from side to side. We're going to demo attaching this unit. So I'm using my mannequin here. And as you can see, I have uh, modified the mannequin's hair to simulate uh, a person who does not have hair in the front. And uh, we're going to practice attaching, or I'm going to demonstrate attaching, uh, creating the bridge braid, and then attaching the hair unit to the braid that I've created. So you see, again, the front perimeter of the mannequin's head, it has no hair. So we want to create a braid in the front that we can use to attach our unit to, uh, to give it more stability. So we're gonna start by sectioning the hair on the mannequin. Um, and as you can see, I'm turning the mannequin around so you can see how the back of the hair looks, which is very similar to how some people begin to lose their hair in the top. It starts to thin or it starts to uh, completely come out and we're left with this hair around the sides and in the back. So I'm gonna start by sectioning or making a small part um, on the mannequin and this is where we're going to create our bridge. So I'm just gonna go around the mannequin's head just creating a part um, and sectioning that hair off so that we can attach some braiding hair and create our bridge braid. So I'm just gonna go around the head and um, create this part, just slicing out a very thin section of hair to add our braiding hair. Again, I'm just going around the crown area, very, very close to the area that is bald just so that we can create our bridge and your part does not have to be perfect so um, this will be a section of the hair that is covered by the hair from the unit so you see the parts are not very clean and, and, and not perfect and this is probably the experience you'll have if you're having to braid your own hair um, but if you have someone do it for you then of course they can clean up those sections and make it you know perfect so again we're going to take our braid all the way around the head um, to give us that foundation in the front so that we can clip our wig unit or our hair unit to it so i'm just going back around just making sure that i have created that thin part and so then we'll begin to add the hair to create our bridge so i have the braiding hair here i i personally like to braid with the marley hair because it's a little bit more coarse than braiding hair and uh if you're not a seasoned braider or if you don't braid very tightly you want to make sure that you have a good grasp of the hair before you start to braid because we don't want the hair to slip and we don't want our braid to come undone. So I like using the Marley hair because it gives a, a, um, a better grip and a more, it has that more coarse texture that's gonna give you that good hold uh, when combined with your hair. So I'm gonna start on the left side of the mannequin's head with my braid and you can see that I'm just taking that front section that front part and I'm going to start my bridge braid there um, if you don't know how to add him add hair to braiding that's a whole nother course but if you have some concept or some experience adding braiding hair this is really simple and I actually have tried this technique on myself not uh, creating a bridge braid on my own head but just braiding my hair in a circular um, pattern just to either sew down or crochet. So it's not very difficult to grab the hair from the left side and take that braid across the forehead. So 
you can see where I, my braid started and the goal is to attach the braid we'll take the braid completely around the crown of the head yes so we want our braid to go completely around and as i continue to braid you're going to see where i attach the braid on the other side and take the braid all the way around and this is a great option again for people who may get sew-ins or um, if you're going to do crochet braids uh, a bridge braid can help now in many instances uh, some ladies have a little bit of hair around the the edges so you may not have a full head of hair but you may have some hair that you can include in this braid and that's great too because let me tell you that adding or joining that bridge braid with any hair that you have up there as long as it's not pulled very tightly that will allow you to keep any clips or any or keep the base of the unit off of your scalp and that will give your your scalp and hair follicles room to to breathe and uh, allow that follicle to push through if any hair is is able to grow there if that's not sitting directly on the scalp you're giving that follicle that hair strand the best opportunity to regrow so if you have any little fuzzy hair around the front go ahead and include it in the braid as you go around the head and again that's going to help the hair grow if it's able to grow so you can see that i have my braid all the way around and we're joining it with our start our starting point so now i just clip the excess hair and now i'm going to um, go ahead and attach the end to the beginning so i'm using my crochet needle here and i'm just going to go in and grab that hair and just crochet it through the braid and that's going to help us keep um, our braids connected now if you would prefer to sew down your braid you can do that too I know some people prefer to sew it down just to have that extra security. Just for the sake of this demo, I'm just showing you another alternative. You can use the crochet needle. And for beginners who don't know how to sew, you can use the crochet needle. So now we see our bridge braid across the front. Now, if we had hair, any hair along the hairline, we wanna add that into the braid and that's gonna also give us more security and bring that braid further down on the hairline but for the sake of this video just demonstrating the how to go ahead and create that bridge braid we have it here so now we have our hair unit and we're going to go ahead and install the hair unit by opening the clips on the hair unit and if you've used the hair unit before you know that the clips are sewn to the bottom of the base and now we're just going to go around and open and opening the the wig clips is just a popping motion to open that clip up so that we can slide it underneath our braid and then we'll pop the clips back closed to attach it so i'm going to go ahead and start in the front we have one clip on each side of the front and i'm going to attach those clips to the braid uh, by sliding the comb of the clip underneath the braid and then I'll proceed to close the clip so that we can move around to the clips around the sides and the back. So we have clips all around the base of the hair unit and we're gonna go ahead and clip that on again in the front first. You can also start in the back first. It's just whatever your preference. But we wanna make sure that those clips are securely fat, clipped on and fastened to give us the most secure fit we can have. So now I'm just working around the sides. And it's always um, a challenge for me to do this on the mannequin because the hair is so, um, the hair is so slippery it's like i want to make sure that i am getting it underneath and it's closed so you can see here i have the clap the clips cl attached to the braid and it's on there and i want to use this kinky curly hair because the mannequin's hair is straight so that you can see the contrast you can see where the hair unit sits and where the mannequin's hair is so we have it attached in place um and you can see here that it is, it's on. 
So 60 second clip and go hair topper.